Hello crafty friends. Welcome back to another episode of Eclectic Stash Busting. Um, we're very excited to share with you what we've decided to um, create this month. And so let's get on with it. Um, so this month we have decided to exchange journal pages. And I was very excited about this because um, Susie did a swap of journal pages over on Sophie's Notes and I was not able to participate because it was a super busy time for me right then. And so I was excited that the girls wanted to do this project amongst ourselves to do um, an eclectic stash busting journal. And so um, this is what we have done. We decided to do two pages each, um, two folded pages. And this is my first one. Um, this one, so basically I tea stained all of my paper and we just used, you know, one, the size of one, um, folded sheet of paper tea stained. And here is my first set. Um, I'm sorry if the lighting is not quite right. It's, it's sort of in the evening here and I'm losing light. So I'm trying to do this video kind of fast so that, um, we still have a little light left. Um, so I've added several ephemera pieces and lots of the Tim Holtz ephemera, these three, um, a piece of vintage lace here. This is a tuck spot back here. I've used one of these tea stained um, tabbed index cards here. And I put a piece of vintage music sheet there. And so we thought that we would leave um, two sides of the page blank for journaling and then decorate on two sides, um, kind of embellish it. So this one is just blank for journaling. I added a piece of washi tape there on the side. And then this is another just ephemera piece, and this is a tuck spot. I put a piece of French um, vintage ephemera down in there. And this strip of Tim Holtz um, photographs. And on this side, I have another little tuck spot envelope here. And this starts my second set. I've just embellished a tag. This is another sheet of vintage French ephemera. And I've added some um, tea stained vintage lace there. This sheet I've left blank for journaling. And then I've used a few of my um, Tim Holtz paper dolls here. I've tried to use, you know, a lot of my stash that I've been trying to use up that I've been hoarding. So I've tried to get it out and um, use it up. Because, you know, that's the thing about this eclectic stash busting. You want to really try to use up your stash that you've been hanging on to. So this is the Tim Holtz wallpaper papers and... Um, this is, oh, this is another Tim Holtz photograph with some rosette trim here, another piece of ephemera. This is actually a tuck spot here on the end or, a, um, you know, a side piece here. And I've added a piece of French ephemera back here. This is, um, is actual vintage ephemera that I've purchased here and there and most of these are from the 1800s. I love that it has the seal there if you can see it. So cool. And that's my first set. <clears throat> Happy Easter you guys. It's Easter here. Um, well everywhere today. <laughs> I am pre-filming this because my um, my week coming up is going to be really crazy, so I wanted to hurry up and get this get this filmed and in the mail to Anna, Christy, and Irene. Here's my second set. So I've used the Tim Holtz tissue paper on the back of this one, sewed on some um, vintage lace here, added a, one of these found relatives photographs here. This again is a tea stained tab journal card or um, index card. The doily here. Opening up, I have 
this vintage button card, which I love. I put a um, that little wish token there, just a little ephemera piece there. <clears throat> this doily here becomes a tuck spot. Another one of those Tim Holtz little little guys right there. And then this again is another piece of French um, ephemera. This is from a receipt from a wine sale. And then this right here, this is a, um, an antique ledger that I pulled a sheet of and made another tuck spot there as well. I'm sorry guys, the lighting is terrible. I apologize. Um, so this was my trial run on some avocado stained pages and it did not quite turn out like I expected, but I do love the light pink shade of it. If you can see, it kind of has a light pink hue to it and I do I do like that it goes well with the you know the antique vintage look um, this is the other side of that doily put a little flower here with a vintage button envelope this is a tuck spot in here as well with some vintage lace sewn on just put a little piece a couple pieces of um, ephemera there this is another French vintage ephemera. Okay. And then here is the last page. This becomes a tuck spot right here. And there's a little section here that you can actually put some things in. I've put some little journaling journaling pieces in there. And the back is just left for journaling. And I've sort of bounced some, um, I think that's German text print stamp sort of on the back just to give it a little something extra. And that is my second set. Oops. And here's the third one. So I've distressed one of the wallpaper sheets in the back. Added um, a doily here, another one of those cute little tokens. Some of these little flowers. This is a glassine envelope I've stitched on with some um, antique lace. It's a tag I stained, it's just blank. Another one of those found relatives girls there. And this one I made a little bit of a fold out. This is another antique ephemera piece and I've stitched on some um, vintage lace here for another spot here with um, another one of those receipts. And another little journaling booklet since this one I sort of used up all my journaling spots. And then here I've added a little spot here with the um, a tuck. I love that little girl. Isn't she so cute? More stitch lace. More vintage ephemera. That one has the cool stamp. <clears throat> and here. That is a, um, that's a perfume label, I believe. And over here on this side, I've put a corner tuck spot. More vintage lace sewn stitched on the side. And then I just did a corner embellishment on this side with several different pieces of ephemera and cutouts using a lot of the Tim Holtz pieces I had in my stash. Um, vintage sheet music and an old piece of um, tattered lace there and there's the back okay so yay that was um, our project for this month also I wanted to show you um, three of my spring memory decks cards that I've created oh dear I've lost one here it is okay for, um, this one's not exactly spring, but 
really love the vintage look of that. And this one. Actually, this is the only one that actually has a spring theme. I guess the floral pattern in this one kind of works. And that one. Okay, so thank you guys. Thanks for watching this month. I hope you'll go and check out Anna, Christie and Irene's channels and see what pages they have designed for our journal page swap. And thanks for watching.